Southfield has long been known as a city that embraces being safe and secure. That mantra was emphasized during a recent ceremony to christen the acquisition of new life support vehicles. Well, th this morning we have our dedication and our uh, ceremony uh, to uh, bless our new life trucks. Well, our life uh, support program began in 1972, and initially we were advanced life support non-transporting. We're very fortunate this morning we're going to have one of our original life, uh, paramedics here with us, Marcel Charette. Uh, he'll, he, I'm sure he's going to share some of his comments. But our, our program uh, began in 1972. It was the first in the state, and I believe it was the third in the nation, where fire-based EMS. And we have evolved over the years. Uh, in 2005, we began uh, transporting. We went from a non-transporting uh, service to a transporting service, where we actually started taking patients to the hospital. And uh, we set that up in 2005, and we actually were able to generate quite a bit of revenue back into the general fund for the city. And uh, at at that time, we retrofitted our old vehicles. Uh, a year later, this, the city council approved the purchase of uh, new vehicles. Those lasted us for probably twice as long as we had projected. Uh, they have over 200, uh, excuse me, over uh, 200,000 miles on them, so over 800,000 miles cumulatively on those vehicles. They responded to more than 83,000 runs and it was time to retire them. So uh, the city approved new life support vehicles. The vehicles feature the latest in technology that will help emergency personnel stay on the leading edge of new practices and emergency response times. And we have uh, improved safety for our personnel and improved safety for our patients, which is the most important thing. To learn more about upcoming developments with the Southfield Fire Department, visit cityofsouthfield.com.